We're going to finish our weekly mobility series with a little bit of additional squat technique. First thing we're going to start is a banded wall squat. And basically, we're really just using the band to traction us down into the deepest squat with the most upright torso position possible. So really the band's just pulling your femurs back into the socket, pulling your knees apart, educating you on that proper knee position in the squat. So as you get down into that squat position, hold the position and then relax and you'll find that you can keep sinking down just a little bit. Make sure your heels stay on the ground and you try to keep your shoulders back against the wall. From there, we're gonna to go to a face the wall squat. Now we're gonna to try to actively force the muscles of our upper back to contract and really get an idea of what that upright torso position in the deep squat feels like. Make sure your heels stay on the ground. As you feel more comfortable, you can walk closer and closer to the wall with this. Try not to frog your knees out when you do this. Make sure you have good alignment from your feet to your shins. From there, we're just gonna do a little bit of cross traction on the knees. So basically the band is set up so it's pulling our knees valgus or in towards each other. And now you have to fire up the muscles that are going to help push those knees out. The other thing that band is doing it is pulling you further into dorsiflexion. So it actually helps make the squat easier because it pulls your knees forward to where they need to be.